Welcome back to the Raw Room. Welcome back to the Raw Room. Yes, sir. We in this bitch exclusive. Yeah, exclusive sir. shit. Y'all already know we come back. We always drop some shit off of y'all. Y'all are the probably got the, the, the greatest host in the world for real. We always yeah. drop some new, just some this random ass guests on y'all ass. Some random ass shit. Y'all give me y'all shit away. Y'all keep on make sure y'all keep up with y'all bracket shit too. Exclusive. You already know that's going up. Right now, we in this bitch in the room. One of the live raps I didn't see probably coming up in the past week, just this past week that Justin came up real fast and got hot around in, in my in my realm, you know what I'm saying? In my iTunes mm-hmm. been popping, my YouTube been going off. Welcome Jag and this bitch, yes sir. Yes yeah, sir. Yeah. Welcome to the Raw Room, bro. Yes yeah, sir. Yo, man, we gonna already pop it off cause I got a lot of questions for your ass, bro. <laughs> Nigga, you from, from South Central. Yeah. But one thing I know about is you don't sound like man nigga from Cali rapping. I don't. Do not. He does not. So how how that work? How that come about? Cause I know you you didn't move, you didn't battle rap in New in New York, you know what I'm saying? You fucking out with Cassidy and Philly, but you don't sound your B sound nothing like a Cali nigga. Um my fault. Um man, you know what? I grew up listening to Biggie, like that was my favorite rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think Juicy, Juicy was my favorite song. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, you know, as a kid, like I started off listening to Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Ice Cube, all the West Coast shit, you know what right, I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. Once I fell in love with that, I think I was in, uh, you know, elementary school I, for Christmas. I don't know how it was for y'all back in the days, but you know, motherfuckers couldn't get everything they wanted. So we put a whole bunch of shit on the list, you know, and CDs, that shit was $10 back in the days. Right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? So every Christmas, my mama stacked me up on music. Like she knew I was in love with music. So right. when I first tapped into some like different type of rap, it was Biggie, it was, ju- it was Juicy. My mom was listening to it, bro. My mom put me on Juicy. Yeah. She like, yo, this fat ass nigga, he cross eyed <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She like, all the women love this dude though. Like, you, know what I'm saying? you gotta hear this dude. I'm like, yeah. damn, this nigga, you feel me? Like, okay. So I started listening to Biggie and, yeah. and he was talking about it was him and his mom and shit like that so I could relate to him, bro. So once I started, you know, relating to him, I, I pretty much fell in love with East Coast rap. And that's when I realized it was a different type of rap out there. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Because on the West, we didn't know. They wasn't showcasing, you know, it was beef back in them days. They wasn't showcasing yeah, they weren't a showing lot of all East Coast yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, you feel me? So um, Rocker, Rockefeller, Jay-Z, Joe Buttons, Fab, Cassidy, all them had an influence on me, man. I started studying them, feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I met Cassidy and, and, and uh, it was haywire from there because he started putting me in the, in the room 16, 17 hours of just writing, bro. Dang. You, you get your shit up. Like, ain't no, ain't nobody gonna be able to test you. You feel me? Cass seen yeah. it before right. everybody. He, he pulled me to the side one day. Actually, he walked to the store to go get some backwoods. And you know, I, he at first bought me around. Nobody was fucking with me. They like, why you bringing this nigga from LA around? Like, nigga, mm-hmm. we've been around all the whole time. He like, nah, this nigga different. Right. I, I see the potential. He he yeah. he gonna be something. So he told me, you know, we watched that story. Like, nigga, you you might end up being bigger than me one day, bro. Like, I, you got star quality. You don't even know it yet. And that's when I just got on my shit and really started studying music, bro. I literally put in down there twenty hours a day for for three years straight. Damn. So how you gotta so do it. How you get from LA? To Philly, fuck with Cassidy and shit. Man, shout out my nigga Bam Hall. He an actor now, man. I, I be seeing this nigga on commercials. He had a Super Bowl commercial. Um, his his brother is Bobby Simmons. He played in the NBA. At mm-hmm. the time, Bobby Simmons was playing on New Jersey Nets. And my nigga um, Bam was visiting them, you know, in Jersey. So he went to go get a new a new Escalade. And Cass was getting his Escalade um, worked on. Yeah. So my nigga Bam seen Cassie like, yo, dog, like, you looking for artists? Cass was like, yeah. So my nigga Bam played his cousin shit, played my shit. He said, uh, Cass said, who would you fuck with out of them two? And Bam was a real dude. He was like, yo, I'll fuck with Jag. My cousin ain't ready like Jag is. You know what I'm saying? Yes. For that to be his blood yeah, and yeah. still give it up to me, that's yeah, wild. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah. 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 And, Cass, and Cass was like, yo, for you to be that real, like he must be serious. So and I would have said the same thing, like, because I, I hear the difference, like Jag ready. So I flew out there, you know, and, and I got with Cass, bro. It was I, like literally I rapped for like three hours straight, and it was that was, it was haywire after that. 
Yeah. Nah, I read some it's you know, reading articles and shit, you know what I'm saying, before we come along with you, I saw something crazy. Like, <laughs> nah, some of this yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying, you got, I be like, these niggas be lying and <laughs> capping, but niggas saying that you worked a couple odd jobs before you really start rapping, working at Papa John's and shit. Nigga was a chef, nigga in the kitchen and shit. Then I seen niggas say you was a loan shark collecting <laughs> debts for niggas and shit. Man, I listen, man. I kid, I kid you not, my G. Um, <laughs> my nigga, my nigga, Jamaican chef, like a real chef. So I was, you know, I told you I was chefing. Yeah. Um, and my nigga knew I was from the streets too at the same time. Mm. And you know, so he he started working in Beverly Hills for some rich ass Russian dude. So Russian yeah. dude come to him one day, he like, yo, hey, you got somebody that you know that that could go collect some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or a, a real mm. one. My nigga hit me. He like, hey, listen, man, I'm gonna get you a job here. You yeah. feel me? And we gonna we gonna we gonna work it like that. When a dude see who you is, see how big you is. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm six, I'm, mm -hmm. At that time, at that time, I was like three fifty. I'm six five and a half. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? So when I when I went to go work there. So that's where that chubby jag came from, right there, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so sir. Carmelo <laughs> Anthony gave me that name. Feel yeah. me? Hey, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's I was right. running with Chubby. Carmelo was like, hey, that Chubby shit, you got to stick with that, like, nigga, that confidence, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody going to fuck with it. I just started running right. with it. Man, you feel me? But so, yeah, the dude seeing how big I was, and I thought it was fake. The niggas, he, he came with a whole <laughs> job. This nigga like, yo, like, I want you to go collect some money, you know what I'm saying, from family at that. Dang. Money, I don't want to know what happened to him. This is where he kick it at. This is address. This is how he look. This is how oh. much he owe me. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh. I can't do this. Yeah, he like, I want you to get cleaned up, start putting on suits, get your manicures and all that shit. You feel me? I'm gonna send you around uh, some other some other rich dudes who but got that's bigger some bags. Movie shit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, or some movie shit. Nigga, I turned that shit down. Nigga got nervous. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> be my life, nigga. He was like, man, everything gonna be different. Like you can't have no friends, y'all saying no nothing. Hell. Oh hell no, yeah. right. <laughs> That's crazy as hell. Yeah, fuck <laughs> that shit, bro. Yeah. Oh, you can have that. I also yeah. read, bro. Also, remember you. It was a point in time you lost your voice. You drop, you drop plenty of mixtapes in, in 2015, and all of a sudden you just lost your voice for a while. What, what the fuck would happen with that? Man, I was smoking on Swisher Sweets, and mm. um, and I was smoking on Black and Mouds. I had to put them the holes down too. My Darren, boy, I, you know, I was trying to tell Darren for the longest. Yeah, I put them bitches down. I had to put them holes down too, bro. Them, 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 them black and miles, my nigga. They, they drive me out, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Like to a point. And I'm a loud nigga, so I'm I be passionate about a lot of shit. I be speaking on whether it be sports and shit. So it be a lot of times <laughs> where <clears throat> I'm in a studio session. <clears throat> and me and my niggas having a debate yeah. about sports yeah. or music. He's I'm yelling to the top of my voice, yeah. Yeah. smoking the black and mild, yeah. smoking uh, the yeah. Swisher, not drinking water, and then boom, my shit went the fuck out. Speaking of water. Hey, so yeah, stay hydrated. Long, yeah, how, stay hydrated. How long your shit go out for? My shit was out, what, a year? My oh, shit was out a year. A year. So you, just, so you mean you just couldn't even talk? Wow, Bro, you can't I, I even talk to several food. doctors. I went to specialists. I got some pills, flew in from Japan. You know what I'm saying? That was under, you know what I'm saying? Some black market shit. I think I tried everything, oh, bro. My, my voice was in the back. You know what I'm saying? So I spoke to Cash one day because I went to the doctor. The doctor hit me back and was like, nah, your, your shit gonna be good. But my shit wasn't coming back still. So I talked to Cash one day. He like, what the doctor say? I'm like, I said, he said my, I mean, she said my shit gonna come back. He was like, man, fuck it, just fly out here. So I flew out there, Cass, Cass got me in the studio first night. Man, mind you, I ain't been able to talk or none of that rap right. I couldn't say shit with an S, a T, a P, none of that. Shit just go right, through. man, nigga, I used to be about to cry, bro. I'd be having a conversation, I can't even say shit, dog. Like, shit was fucked up, my nigga. And this, this all That's... I knew was my voice, right. you know what I mean? So Cass saying like, I get in the booth and I'm having a hard time because I ain't had no confidence. So we like, yeah. man. You know, he asked me again while I'm in the booth, like and he outside the glass. He's like, what the doctor say? I'm like, doctor said I'm good. He's like, man, just rap that shit. So I started rapping. My voice came back, bro, to that night, nigga. Jeez. Damn. On oh, some wild <laughs> shit. <laughs> that shit crazy, crazy as hell, man. Shit gone for a whole year, nigga. Could you, Darren, could you imagine? 
Fuck could you could, could you imagine shit? You just step out on the football field and you don't know how to football no more. Man, you just <laughs> space, <laughs> doctor, space jam your talking ass. about cancer scare, all that, bro. The whole bang, like yeah, yeah I would have been like, thinking that shit out real. And yeah. all that. I'm like, what? Right. That's Dang. crazy as hell. So what did they, what did they ever say? Like, what was the diagnosis on it? They just um, I ended up uh um acid re severe acid reflex okay. um um severe dry throat super um dehydrated um super super dehydrated. super super shit. dehydrated to where my shit was a damn near ripped. Sound, yeah, if I say sound like that nigga pulled his vocal cords. That's so I had, yeah. to, I had to recoat, I had to recoat my shit, recoat my, my vocal cords. You yeah. feel me? I had to do a whole bunch of um um treatments and shit like that. Um uh, honey tea and and olive oil type type shit, all type of wild shit. Lemon. That's wild that's, as hell. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's yeah, it yeah. is the equivalent to an athlete not being able to run, just forgetting how to run or some shit right. in the car accident. Yeah. Shit. yeah, that's fucking crazy. But you regain your voice being back in the booth with Cassidy, but then after that, you in that bitch with Style P, Murder Mook, Marquise Daniel, shout out that nigga Auburn nigga wore down. Mar you know what I'm saying? Todd Dollar <laughs> sign, all these niggas. Like, what was it like being in that bit with Marquise though? Cause that's an Auburn nigga. I went to Auburn. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey Marquise was a real one, man. He started fucking with me years ago. Shit, I just spoke to him this year. He still be tapping in. Um man, you know what? He was one of the first dudes that embraced me. And you know he a slime too. So you feel mm -hmm. me? It, it all it all worked out for mm -hmm. him. You know what I'm saying? For us. And we we was good. Like a fan hooked that up. A fan was on Twitter, like, yo, I, I want to see my favorite. Uh, basketball player, my favorite hey, rapper, do a song together. Hey, you know that's what uh, yep, it and, and he hit me up and, and shit. It was haywire from there, man. That's my bro, man. Man, in 2018, you dropped the Kaepernick effect. What was that? What was that like for you as far as your career, your career and and your personal life? Man, my personal life. Um, you know what? Um, doing shit like that. You know, I assume like when actors do certain roles. It, 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 it kind of changed their preference on, on life, depending mm -hmm. on what type of role you didn't play. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it, it changed my thought process as a black man, because at first, you know, when I did it, um, it was like, damn, how can I go viral? That was uh, the first okay. thing. Me and my manager yeah, spoke right. about how can yeah. I go viral? Yeah. How can I be different? Then the second thing was like, damn, let me speak on some shit that niggas are scared to speak on. Mm -hmm. Let me let me get deep with it. Let me get so blunt with it. Let me explain. Let you feel the gunshot. You know what I mean? Let you let you feel how niggas feel when you actually get pulled over by a cop and you can't you don't got a chance to explain yourself about mm -hmm. nothing and you ain't doing right. a fucking thing, you just being judged. So it was like, how can I make the people feel some type of way? It might get me kicked out of music for forever, but I know I have a stamp in the game, you know what I'm saying? With the yep. real legends on what I did, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. right. So so at first. I had it more looking like a movie. I had a fake cop, a, a fake cop car and all that shit. And it was like, nah, bro, I want them to feel more. I want them to feel the pain. Mm -hmm. I want these niggas to see the bags in my eyes, how long a nigga been crying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for right. being black, for being a black man, like really going through shit. You feel me? You think about all the times me and Cass got pulled over because he beat a murder case and they thought we was riding around with burners and being stupid mm -hmm. and we wasn't, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But we dealt with harassment for years, you feel me? Nigga, I'm yeah. talking about in, in, in Manhattan where I didn't got my balls cuffed by a cop and he looking at me dead in my face like, nigga, don't come around here no more. Cause I thought y'all had guns and y'all didn't. So now you making me mad. Cause I done pulled y'all over and it's Cassidy and I thought y'all had guns. So the next time I pull you over, it don't matter if you ain't got nothing, I'm gonna see you in. So that, you know, cricket shit. Yeah, that's me? fucked up. Yeah. While a nigga holding my sack though. And I'm looking that's... at him, I'm like, I say, damn bro. He said, damn what? Say something else. <laughs> that's some whole shit. With my yeah, yeah. So I'm like, damn, this is like a real gang. Nah, that man, is the biggest gang in the world, bro. Yeah, in the you world. feel me? A nigga is, 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 is holding my sack and talking to me, looking at me dead in yeah. my face and telling me to shut the fuck up. Hey, you you can't my do dude. shit. Can't I'm do shit. You, Come on, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? So yeah, all that pain that built up over the years, it was easy for me. I wrote Kaepernick Effect. I ain't gonna lie to y'all in 15 minutes, dog. I felt, I heard the beat, I felt the beat. I said, this the one right here. I got this feeling, it, it gave me goosebumps. I'm gonna talk that my shit. shit. I'm getting them right now, guy. Yeah, feel me? Damn, and and yeah, while we yeah, filmed that, the SWAT team came, bro. While we right. were filming that. For so real? Yeah, I'm talking about the video, the second video? The, the, the first one with the, white, with the white hand was to my head. 
the first one. Okay, the first, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah the white yeah. hand was to my head. Yeah, the SWAT team came, you feel me? And we're making so bad, bro. It was a white hand to my head. SWAT team came, still made me get on my knees in the middle of the wow. street, bro. Wow, bro. What? And held, and held the guns to my head like I did something wrong. And while the white man holding the gun to me, dog. That's wild as fuck. We had to explain it, and then we shooting the video about the same little bullshit they doing right now. And right now, nigga, the same. Yeah, right. make them make them feel real stupid. So if you watch the whole met- Kaepernick, if you watch the whole Kaepernick video, it's a little footage of, of cops walking down the street. Yeah, that was them walking was down the them. street okay. on us. Yeah, my boy. Well, I mean, I so saw it and I lived, figured it. Me and my me and my, like me and my that. manager lived on that block, so I was at the end of the block. So so mm. also uh, his homeboy was at our house. He was filming from the porch. Mm-hmm. That's how we end up getting that footage. Sheesh. Now, That's... I'm not surprised. I was surprised they didn't come around on the, the second part when you got the gun, nigga. Man, listen, With I, the got white so right there too. I, I, I got so many threats from, from white people. You know what I'm saying? I got so many right, threats man. from companies. Like, I, I, I lost, I lost uh, you know, a, a few deals. When niggas, niggas said they didn't want to fuck with me because of yeah. it. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a lot of relationships with, you know, Apple and, you know, this big company and, mm-hmm. you know, lost a lot of relationships and um, I still went viral. I didn't yeah. give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? My oh, yeah. need to see that. It wasn't, yes. I'm not here to sell my soul, my nigga. I'm not here to make you like me. I'm here to, uh, to, to put a message out and make sure that my mm-hmm. people see it and they feel a certain type of way. Them gonna yes. be the ones who, who continue to support me you know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. you niggas is just a, 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 a company with a big name and, and money you could juggle in front of niggas. Yeah. You right. feel me? Yep. Right. Like any big corporation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go to say the same thing go for sports. That's that's mm-hmm. what it is. It's big corporations that they they that got a brand and, and a whole bunch of money they can juggle in front of niggas and make niggas do what they want to do. Right. Who that's would why that white dude? Be mad at niggas like A B and you know, granted certain, you know, certain situations where we 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 as black men, I feel like we all got a certain mental illness. Mm. Oh yeah, for we all sure. dealt with shit. If you done walked right. down the street and you seen cops and you got nervous, mental illness. Right. If you if you've been driving and the cops pull up behind you and you nervous, mental illness. You know right. what I'm saying? Y'all done fucked us up so much to where I feel like every black man got a mental illness. For sure. Uh, motherfuckers PTSD. don't treat that. Motherfuckers don't ask us if anything wrong with us. You know what I'm saying? That go for the women. You know what I'm saying? Right. Different races. They oh, don't yeah. care about what black men going through. It's about, hey, listen, can you get a bag for us? Right. Yeah. Like can I said, that's, you, that's in everything, bro. That's right. relationship. That's business. That's everything. You know what I'm saying? Nine yeah. times out of 10, 80% of, of women who get a star want to know, can you get a bag for me? I, I ain't gonna lie. I, can, I, I have to say that's I agree with you. Know, Company, companies too. They see talent, yeah. and I see it now. I got put in front of Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Now companies yeah. getting me back again. Hey, right? Uh, nah, get a bag for us. We want to fuck with you, Jack. Get hey, out now here. we was, I was about to go there, nigga. What, bro? Nah. Hey, no. Uh, hey, I about lost my mind, nigga. Now nah, you know what I'm saying. Now, nah, nigga, like me meeting Brian Dawkins, Marshawn Lynch, them right. two my niggas. I grew up watching. Now, I grew up listening to Wayne now. But a nigga, that shit bigger than Brian Dawkins. That shit bigger than Marshawn Lynch. That nigga, that's little Wayne, nigga. You got to spit your shit for Wayne, bro. And you came stepping in that hole. Right. That nigga Wayne was so fucked up. That nigga broke he, the ashtray in that bitch. He, got, he had to get up and leave. <laughs> that nigga got up and walked the fuck out. Came back in. Bro, had Yo, everybody bro. hitting the stank face in that bitch. Right. I, I, live, I live for these moments, bro. Like, I put in so many hours, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, my team watching me, my girl, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my family for all these years, like in my in my early 20s doing this shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, to where them same people around, you feel me? And mm-hmm. it, it, it was it was me doing it for them. You know what I mean? Now my girl is, is my wife and my family. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and so you feel me, we got to, to see the, the 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 progress, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and, and 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 where we came from. So it was like that moment. I waited for that moment for so many years. I talked hmm. I talked about that moment. For, it didn't matter who it was. You know, I ain't never met Snoop. I ain't never right. met Dre. I ain't never hey, met right uh, Jay Z. Yeah. I ain't never met Yeezy. So I, it was always I had a chip on my shoulder. It's yeah. like you put me yeah. these niggas liking all these niggas. Put me in front of these niggas. Uh-huh. I'm gonna right. show niggas yeah. what I do. You know what I'm saying? 
So it, it, right. it was like that. It was like I was uh, hungry. I wasn't even nervous. Yeah, I, hey, like, I could uh, see it. Bro, I know that nigga it. was yeah, not. That, that nigga came. Bro. Right. Yeah, that was a performance. Like, that was a performance. That's what I saw. I saw LeBron putting up 50 right there. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that was I my, saw that was John my, Morant giving another combine, 50. Bro. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that was me showing the world, like, listen, listen before I get in this game, y'all, I've been, I've been doing this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see I came ready, nigga. I'm prepared. You feel me? Thanks. That make that give me this. How do you come prepared for a freestyle or like a LA Leakers type of freestyle type of shit? How do you come prepared for something like that? Well, I write bars every day, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, every day I write bars and, and, and try to write shit that's that's so you know fulfilling and, and try to mm-hmm. you know capture capture shit that niggas ain't capturing. You know, and I, and I compare myself a lot to like a a hood version of Drake. You know what I'm saying? I always tell motherfuckers like Drake is the, Drake is the, um, you know, the light skinned nigga. You know, sometimes niggas be clowning and, you know, oh yeah, Drake, Drake soft, but we never had a nigga that could talk like that and be hood and dark skin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 right. yeah, you feel me? So <laughs> yeah. I feel like I bring that element to the game. So I knew what Wayne was going to fuck with. Cause I knew he fucked with Drake. And it's like, you know, um, it was validation for me because a lot of times I compare myself to a hood version of Drake, yeah. and that w- it was super validation because I picked the beat and niggas didn't know that. Mm. Okay. Nice, nice. You feel me? Yeah. Brandon yeah. Marshall asked me, you know, he said, "What type of beat you think Wayne gonna like?" Because you know, we we want we want niggas to freestyle. We, what type of beat you think Wayne gonna like? I, nigga, <laughs> I sent them that one. I didn't, I didn't send them a whole bunch of choices. I sent them that beat. This one, Wayne well, yeah. gonna like this. I rap yeah. on this. It's a rap. Yeah. I told Brandon before it happened. <laughs> He knew. He like, nigga, come up there and kill this shit. For yeah. sure, bro. Hey, wait, wait. So I'm laughing right now because why be about to get on that bitch? No, start it over. Start it over. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? no, no, start it over. Start it over. Hey, but what that, so what was the, what was the, uh, what was the message you were trying to send with that, with that Ryan Earl freestyle? Um, you know what? I just I just want a motherfuckers to 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 hear me and know I'm here. It was mm-hmm. like a a, a a a a showcase professionalism. You know what I mean? Yeah. Showcase. Damn, this ain't no flute. This nigga who just rapped in front of Wayne. Why it sound like this nigga got a deal now? Right. Why it sound <laughs> yeah. like this, hey, this nigga some bread? What the fuck thing happened? That's because I had this shit planned. Right. I knew what type of music I wanted to make when I get into that light. When 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 a lot of motherfuckers is watching. I knew, and we got this shit planned, bro. I'm dropping a video every week for the rest of the year. So on Tuesday on the 29th, I'm dropping something new. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 nigga. Yeah. Yeah. crazy. That's what we need. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Hell yeah, because you just dropped that decision. That shit bumping and fuck. That shit, you bumping that hoe. Decisions, man. you You ever go fuck around in Memphis? I ain't never been to Memphis, man, but I, you know what? Ooh, I got you Cali niggas don't never want to come to Memphis. Man. No, no, listen, I got a homie that grew up from the block. That nigga that moved out there, he, he owned a gas station. This nigga cutting here at the gas station now. Oh, that nigga. He got a Memphis. <laughs> oh, okay. He been telling me to come to Memphis, y'all you know saying? Oh, yeah. Soon, soon that nigga get on the phone, what's good, man? Oh, hey, man, yeah, man. that nigga hey, hey, like, hey, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, I, I definitely want to come to Memphis, man. My little nigga been out there for some years, man. I, I got to come see my nigga and fuck with him, bro. But I ain't never yeah, had no yeah. business out there. I never knew nobody. Like, you know, I be liking to go to States, and when I when I be there, be able to record, be able right. to film, not feel right. like I'm doing something instead of just vacating, you know? For sure, right. for sure. Right. You, know, you want to be in his hand, get it all yeah. there at the same time. You feel me? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen you uh, You in the battle rap, and you got to, how long you been in the battle rapping game? I've been I, I, I been uh, on stage for the past year and a half, but um, I've been uh, battle rapping, like involved with battle rap for 16 years. Now, is that a difference not being involved in rapping on the street? Obviously, you you know having a bigger audience, putting being on stage, it's a a sense of bigger feel, more competition. Now, is that it's a new is world? That... It's a it's a new world. Um, but what I did bring to that world was a lot of marketing and branding. You know, um, mm-hmm. for me, yeah. only being it being in there for a year, I made a name for myself. You know, my first battle was against Math Hoffa. I battled some legends, Forty Cal. That was with Dipset. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So that was like. 
that was huge for me to come in and do that and, and build my brand and, and made myself famous in such a short time. Niggas like, nigga, nobody ever did that before, you know? I, tell you, I know niggas was hating. I seen it. I seen niggas. No, niggas a lot of hate quick come up. Niggas a lot of hate. hate. And, and you know what? That hate then turned into love. Like, I done did this Wayne shit. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, now, now I'm getting, um, you know, hit up by everybody, man. Oh, the switch. Uh, I, I'm getting hit by everybody. Geechee Gotti just hit me to get on a reality show with him. You feel me? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting wild for me, man. Like I said, I, I just knew how to brand myself and turn myself in, into a star. I just needed a shot. Yeah, that's all man, you so need. Yeah, man. The motherfuckers gotta give you a shot now. You've been, it's been years of, you know what I'm saying? You've been, been letting us know, been showing people that you, I'm out here. I can do, I do this shit for real. I ain't just, mm -hmm. I ain't just out here, bro. I'm really rapping. And that's what I fucking picked up. But I realized then I seen people that how old you were. And I'm the type of nigga, a lot of niggas down south, they don't know who Grizel is. They don't know Benny the Bush. They don't know Conway. Yeah, them like niggas that, go you know crazy. Yeah. So when I seen like you was older and then you had a tweet, bro, you said something like Grizel to put on for like all the old niggas to be, be able to yeah. rap. Yeah, right, that shit made sense. But I ain't seen you. Have you, you got a song with them boys? Nah, man. But, but I, know, right. I know all of them. They all fuck with me. Yeah, yeah, bro, y'all niggas need to hold drop a whole. Why this? Hate, this is the nigga. first time I'm saying this. Uh, yeah, I mean, on anywhere. That's 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 why I want to sign to. Uh, yeah, hey, I want to yeah, be the first West Coast rapper on Griselda. Yeah, nigga, yeah. right. I swear, yeah. God, we, that shit happened, bro. I know right. Griselda is who they is. Yeah, yep. that shit will blow the fuck yep. up. You pull your story sure, wild, wow, bro. Y'all you know I mean I'm, uh, you know, they call me old in the game, and it's like, damn, a motherfucker really, really started old and, and, and got a and got a fresh start in the game. And this is what Hollywood all about, bro. This is mm. the dream. It's like they right. tell you for real when you first start in Hollywood, they tell you it don't matter how old you is, you can always get on. And yes. well, but they take that away from you when you get in the game and start lying and telling you that you is too old. You know what I mean? Right. No, they when definitely you, do that. When you working hard and that talent, or you know, it, it, it's overworking everybody, and, and, and your 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 uh your your hard working ability is overworking everybody. Man, them niggas can't do shit. Nah, yeah. What's up? Now, I know. That. For, we don't want to keep taking your time, but I I got a few more questions. But I know you know what I'm saying. I played played in Oakland for a while. I've been up and down Cali. My old lady from Cali. I love every part of California. And I know y'all niggas as far as South Central nigga, LA niggas, y'all niggas love y'all community. Y'all niggas love where y'all from. And since yeah. you've been dropping those videos since 2018, has the community looked at you a little different or held you at a high standard since you been speaking on black empowerment, speaking on, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the racism yeah, that's been I, I, I'm, right I'm, st I'm starting to get involved in a lot more shit. Sunday, I'm gonna be at an event um, with a lot of black, um, um, influencers, mm -hmm. you know, black male influencers. Um, we gonna be all dressed in three piece suits, and we gonna be serving black moms and black aunties and black sisters and black daughters that whole day, yeah. serving them brunch. Y'all you know I mean, and, and, mm -hmm. and you know, showing them that we appreciate our black queens. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm doing that on Sunday, and then in May, I'm starting my own music school for underprivileged. Um teens as well as uh, yeah. bad behavior teens and helping them, you know, get their curricular back up and, yeah. and you know, even, you know, even if they don't, don't got to, don't go to college, think about college and think about a trade or think about right, uh, jumping right. into being an engineer, you know, some motherfuckers get out of school while they 18 and not hit the block. They want to go to recording school because a nigga yeah, like yeah. me showed them the way. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We need, yeah. A, we need a lot more of that shit. We need a yeah. lot more of that shit for sure. Cause it's not yeah. a lot of fucking, Oh, re rehabilitate through people that's you know look like us, think like yeah. us, act like they treat us, us like you know they treat saying? us like animals, bro. We go right. to jail, we go to jail, and it's a rap. Oh, you an animal? You 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 know you get caught for having a gun. You wasn't trying to protect yourself. You an animal. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. And it's like you know it's it's fucked up. They don't give us a shot, man. It's hard, bro. It's hard out here. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. I want to be able to show them teams like, hey, man, listen. Now you got something to look forward to. You know, when you go home, instead of hitting that block after school, come to this class and fuck with a real right. rapper. Right. I'm put you in the studios yeah. around real producers yeah. and, and get them niggas something to look forward to. Now after school, it's like, damn, I want to do my homework because I don't want to not be in this class nah, with yeah. Jack. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Feel yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, cra it's crazy. Like, a lot of folks don't get that. Like, I did as me, me growing up being an athlete. Like, shit, I couldn't play unless my yeah. grades were right. And a lot, you don't get that in a lot of other, you know, Extracurriculars, yep. that shit mm -hmm. terrible. Hell yeah. 
Hey, nah, man, we bro, appreciate listen. that shit. That shit was major. That's some major shit to hear. That, like, to even hear that you want to be able to do something like that for the kids. You feel me? Like, right. <clears throat> a lot of niggas yeah. say they do shit like, but you really got the vision. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you is the type of nigga that. Uh, that have had open arms to you. I feel like you done had that reciprocated to you, like with Cassidy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nigga from, coming from all the way across the country, you open, he opened his arms up to you, you know what I'm saying? You done been able to reciprocate that same shit back to the community, back to some kids, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, Cassidy, Ty Dolla Sign, uh, Trey Songz embraced me. He Trey Songz, the first real artist, told me I'm I'm like Drake, the next Drake. Like, that's what I'm saying. I heard this shit from major niggas that didn't fuck with Drake Damn. before he got on. Trey Song said, the only nigga who ever did this type of music, bro, this this four years ago, he said, Jag, Drake, he called me at three o'clock in the morning one time, bro. Hmm. Feel me? That's shit. Yeah. And Trey Song, that's one of them niggas. Hell yeah, Yeah. for sure. Feel me, sure. He hey, told yeah. me like nigga, only only nigga who ever knew how to do the singing and the rap shit like that and blew up. He like Drake, like you cold. I didn't know you was this cold, Jack. You something special, like I, yeah. So we here now. Fucking yeah. right, bro. Hey, you got yeah, this raw room gonna be tuned in to everything you got going on. Don't be fast. You show got, got our eyes on you, bro. And keep on doing your thing, bro. Keep appreciate Thank you for tuning in with us. Hey, drop some more music with that nigga Nick Grant. That nigga be snapping too, bro. <laughs> That's Y'all my brother, man. I just hit him two weeks ago. I'm getting in the lab with him this week. It's on. Hey, yes, sir. Right. Drop yeah. that shit for me, yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we appreciate yeah. you for tuning in with us, bro. Hey man, thank you for having me, Brody. All right, big facts, big facts. Hey up, bro. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. If you have something to say, need a place to help you say it, check out the boys at the Raw Room Media Group to get information on recording the session. Appreciate y'all for listening. Hey, follow us, follow us at the Raw Room Twitter, Instagram. Follow me at Wesson underscore Sun fifty six on Instagram, on Twitter DB underscore five Trey. Follow your boy JC. Uh, Jcar underscore 11, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Jcar underscore 32. Uh, and the, the raw room is at raw underscore underscore room. Roomies, we appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah. We'll tune in for your next week. Easy. Easy.